Welcome to Simply Delish Duo! Today we will be making a zucchini frittata. We made the zucchini sticks so we had leftover zucchinis and I didn't want them to go to waste. I wanted to use them up. So what we decided to do was make a zucchini frittata. So we already cut up some zucchinis. I'm just going to finish cutting these up and it's probably a zucchini and a half that we will be using today on our zucchini frittata. So what you want to do is cut them up quite thin too because I'm frying them up will be make it easier. Oops. Let me go this way. Matter. They, don't have, they don't have to be the same shape. You can, as long as they're not thick and they, they cook easier and they fry up easier. Okay, so put these here and I'm not going to season them now. I'm going to season while I throw them in the pan to uh, fry up a bit. So we will be using, like I said, a zucchini and a half, medium size, not too big, not too small. And I'm going to be using about six eggs today. I have some seasoning salt and I have some half and half cream that I do put in my eggs. So what I'll do is I'll crack the six eggs right now. Actually, let me move these out of the way. Okay, so I put a bit of that uh, cream in there. I'd probably say maybe about two tablespoons of cream. The cream I find makes your frittata fluffier. You can also use milk if you find the cream too heavy for you. And then I will put a little bit of seasoning in the egg mixture and I'm going to be using seasoning salt. Sorry, I have to pause it there for a bit because I forgot uh, an important ingredient, the Parmesan cheese. So there's about half a cup of Parmesan grated Parmesan cheese. So I will put it into our egg, our eggs. And also I will put a little bit of seasoning salt. There. So probably really about a pinch, I would say. You don't wanna over, uh, to put, put too much uh, seasoning salt in there because I'm going to put the seasoning salt once I fry up the zucchinis. So. Very well mixed. All right, we'll be back. Um, we'll get this all ready and get the zucchinis on the stove top. Okay, we have our pan ready to go. And probably about a tablespoon of olive oil and two cloves of garlic, chopped garlic. Fry them up just very little because you're gonna fry them up with your zucchini. Yeah, we don't want to keep them frying no. too long because then the, you don't want the garlic to burn. Yes. So at this moment. So once you throw in your zucchini, give it a swish around. Throw in your uh, sorry, pardon me. Once you throw your garlic, move it around a bit and then throw in your zucchini. And we're not going to thoroughly cook our zucchini. No. We're going to saute them a bit so they turn a little tender because they're gonna cook additionally in the oven. So yeah, make sure not to overcook your zucchini. Yeah, you don't want them to soft. And at this time, I am going to put some uh, seasoning salt. I prefer seasoning salt because it has um, a mixture of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, paprika. Pa yeah, paprika also. You can use salt and pepper. It's to your liking. What spices you like? Just a little bit. So now what we'll do is um, once um, we've added our salt in there, seasoning salt, we're going to continue to saute this for a couple minutes and we'll be, we will be back to add in our egg mixture. 
The zucchini has been cooking for about five minutes. Now we don't want to overcook it. So the egg mixture is actually ready to go in. So what we'll do is that I'll, I'll pour it all the way around. Try to get every nook and cranny. Mm -hmm. But once it bakes, it'll fill up. It'll bake, uh -huh. yeah. Plus, with the cream that we put in there, it'll be nice and fluffier. Okay, so. Let this cook just for a few seconds. And then once the outer edges are starting to cook, you notice that they're starting to cook, which I will show you in a few seconds here. What we will do is push it every corner. or kind of pull and any, drag. Yeah. Pull and drag so... The another, rest of, uh, sorry, another uh, layer of egg will get into the bottom there. There. Just, and you know, keep doing it. Once you notice that the edges are getting cooked quite well. And we'll continue doing this. So, a few minutes. We want the bottom of the frittata to cook before we place it in the oven. And what we'll do is we'll place it in the oven and broil it so the bottom's nice and crispy, but the top will be crispy as well. So we will be back once this is ready to throw in the oven. Looks like it's ready to go into the oven under a low broil, not a high broil. What you could do is lift up, and if you see that it's a nice golden brown, you don't want the bottom to burn. So take it off the stove top, and you put it in your oven again on low broil. And just keep an eye on yeah. it. Because it is on a low broil, it will take a little longer to cook, um, a few minutes, but keep an eye. And once it looks like it's nice, fluffy, and golden brown on the, on the top, we are good to go. I just checked on the frittata. It looks like it's ready. It's nice and crispy on top. So I'll take it out of the oven here. We'll let it sit for a few minutes here, and then we'll cut into it. So this is our famous zucchini frittata. Thank, Thank you for watching Simply Delish Duo. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots more to come. Bye.